Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today I have a couple of wired stick up cams from Ring that I will install in my backyard. Thank you Ring for sending me one unit to be used for this video. And the other one is my personal one that I purchased when Ring initially released this camera. I'll be doing a quick tutorial on how to set up your wired stick up cam using PoE power over ethernet. So Ring cameras except for their doorbell elite are Wi-Fi based. So they use Wi-Fi to transmit video and data and is the main weakness of these cameras. This is the reason for at least 90% of the issues if you have an issue with a camera. Lagging, unable or slow to connect, choppiness on the video, and two-way audio issues can be caused by the Wi-Fi. Either the signal is not strong enough or have some type of interference, especially when you install these cameras outside your house. Also guys, speed and strength are two different things, and the same holds true with Wi-Fi. A lot of people will always ask, what is your internet speed or what is your upload or download speed? The thing is, these Wi-Fi cameras only needs at least 2 to 5 megabits per second of upload speed. Also, Ring cameras, at this time anyways, only uses Wi-Fi when it detects and records motion, or when you're watching live view. Most of the time when it is in standby mode, it doesn't or barely use any Wi-Fi. You really don't need to worry about your bandwidth or you really don't need the fastest internet on download or upload speed to run these cameras. What is important is the Wi-Fi signal strength. Which would ring, they have a signal indicator in the settings called RSSI, which is the Receive Signal Strength Indicator. Compare on what shows in the app to this table. The lesser the number, the better and reliable the connection is. Also, depending on other factors, especially interference, can make this number fluctuate up or down. Anyways, one thing that you can do if your RSSI is high or is weak, you can add Wi-Fi extender and this will help the camera to have a stable and reliable signal, even though extenders will usually cut the internet speed in half. Another option, if you have issues with Wi-Fi signal in the area you want to install the camera and you have the wired stick-up cam, is to use the PoE option. You will need to purchase a PoE injector though. You cannot just plug it into the back of your router. Ring sells its own PoE injector and a lot of other brands sells injectors that are only good for one camera. Or you can find PoE hubs which has multiple ports but depending on the number of your cameras, you will also need the same number of ports available on your router. If not, then you will need a separate switch to make it to work. And plus the cables going to the injector hub, there will be a lot of cabling and confusion. So, I searched for a PoE switch that has only one uplink port or connection to your router, and it will be a way cleaner install. I found one from Washerstein, which has 8 PoE ports and only one Ethernet cable needed to connect to your router. And it can power up to 8 ring stick-up cams or cameras that has PoE option. In this setup, I'll install 2 stick-up cams and I'm going to use 2 of my Cat5 cables that I use for my Reolink and VR cameras, which are already installed outside. I'm also going to test a Reolink PoE dome camera that Reolink has sent me a while back with this PoE switch. So if you don't have any ethernet cables running in the ceiling or attic of your house, this is going to be a more challenging setup and install. The hard part about this is the wiring and routing the ethernet cables around your house and this is also the same if you're wiring a NVR camera system. I would highly suggest hiring somebody to do this for you. This is a one-time setup and your house will be ready for a more dependable wired and VR system. Or you can also use it to wire multiple stick-up cams around your house. I did wire up my house more than a year ago when I upgraded to the Reolink 4 megapixel PoE and VR system. But I will be adding some wiring soon just to have two Ethernet cables per location so that I can do comparison videos whenever I start reviewing NVR PoE cameras. I'll be sharing to you guys then on the tips and tricks and I can tell you right now that you need the proper tools just to save time because the last time I did it, it took a span of 2 weeks just because I can only work in the attic early mornings. Because when noon hits, it is basically an oven up there. 
the lesser time you are in your attic, the better it is for you. So, to wire up your ring wired stick up cams, you will need at least one port available in your router. And you have the Ethernet cables going to areas you want to install the cameras close to the PoE switch. To make it easier to visualize, I will connect the cameras first here in my desk and will add the cameras in the app. Then I'll show you how it is wired on the actual setup later on. First, connect the Washerstein PoE switch to the power supply. Then you just need to connect one cable from the router to the uplink port. You can then connect your stick up cams to any of the 8 available ports. Open the Ring app and click Setup Device. Click Security Cams and scan the QR code on the back of the camera. Choose where you're going to install the camera, which I'll choose outdoors on mine. Then I'll name this Stick Up Cam 1 and click Continue. Choose Power over Ethernet for Power option. And make sure the stick up cam is on, which it is already on. Click the light is flashing. Click join. Wait for a few seconds while your camera is connecting. You will then see the PoE port light turns on and starts blinking. And now the camera is connected. Click continue and I'll skip the next couple of steps for now. Let's click on the live view to test it out. It works. Now, I'll just do the same process to set up my other stick up cam. Also, this PoE switch can power up other PoE cameras as well. So, I'll set up a Reolink PoE 5 megapixel dome camera, the RLC420. I'll connect one end the Ethernet cable to one of the PoE switches available ports. And plug the other end to the Ethernet port on the camera. Then, let's open up the Reolink app. Click the plus sign on the upper right corner. Scan the QR code which is located on the back side of the camera. Type in a login password and click next. Name the camera and click next. And click finish. Now let's test it out. There you go, it works. I can change the orientation of the camera in the display settings. So, the Washerstein power switch works pretty good not only on ring stick-up cams but also to other brands of PoE cameras as well. Time to install the cameras outside. I removed a couple of my Reolink NVR cameras in my backyard and I'll be using their Ethernet cables to set up the stick-up cams. In my review video of these cameras, which I will link in the description down below, there's one design issue that Ring have missed, which is weatherproofing their Ethernet ports at the back. It has a cover but has a gaping hole. And actually they made this to accommodate the Ethernet connector, but they should have designed it to have at least some type of a gasket cover. As you can see where I live, corrosion is an issue. And it happened to my old PoE cameras. Some of you have suggested to use a connector grease or bulb grease, which you can find in your local auto supply store. I got one from Walmart. Or you can also use a duct or gaffer's tape to cover the hole when the cable is already connected. Time to test out the cameras. Color night vision on, 
So what do you think guys? My thoughts, and I mentioned this in my original review, the video quality of the cameras while connected to PoE are the same when they just use Wi-Fi. Ring should have at least increased the bitrate or bumped up the quality by not compressing the footage too much when it is connected via PoE. Audio quality is also the same, and I really thought this is going to be better. It's still not clear and it's the same when it is connected to Wi-Fi. Overall, the only advantage of PoE is that you are able to connect and install the cameras in areas where there are no power outlets. A cleaner install I guess, as compared to exposed power wires. If your house is not wired for Ethernet, there is really no reason to wire it just for the stick-up cams. If you plan to get it wired, you'll be better off getting an NVR PoE camera system where you can get better video quality and 24-7 recording to the network video recorder. One good thing is that Ring recently updated their wired cameras to have a toggle switch so that you can turn on or off color night vision. This color night vision has been on their light cameras like the spotlights and floodlights but the user cannot turn it on or off. But now they added it in the video settings. Anyways, if you have any questions, comment down below and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the little bell icon so you will get notified when I upload tutorial videos like this video, product reviews, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.